Hello, welcome to jQuery tutorial, chapter 27, jQuery animation queue, brought to you by Angpro Technologies. My name is Arish. In this session, we are going to learn about the working of jQuery animation queue. So, let me jump into Visual Studio and let me show you a simple animation. So, here I have an image and the image is having an ID called my image and it's having a style of border 2 pixel solid black. And apart from that, I have a button with the ID my button and the value is start animation now let me push this page to the browser let me hit control f5 so it take me it takes me to the chrome browser so here you can observe okay it's going to render the button as well as the image now our objective is now when i click on this button the image has to get animated so how do i do that it's very simple so first i need to identify a button and to that button I need to attach a click event on the click the image has to get animated so first I need to identify a button so how can I identify it with the help of ID the ID is my button and here I'm going to tell like attach a click event okay to the click event I'm going to attach a function so your I'm going to tell like identify the image once user clicks the button with the ID of it the ID is my image dot okay my button and I have an image called with the ID called my image then I need to call animate method to it so the first animate method what it's going to do is it's going to increase the width of the image by 500 pixel and that should happen within a span of 1500 seconds or let me give it as 2000 seconds and after that I'm going to chain another animate method to that image itself so and it's going to apply the CSS property of border width by 10 pixel and that should again happen within a span of 1500 seconds and let me add another animate method to that and here I'm going to tell like uh, add an opacity of 0.5 okay now what what I'm trying to do is to my image I have changed three animate methods and the first animate method is going to animate the image by adding a width of 500 pixel and the second animate method is going to add a border width of 10 pixel and the third animate method is going to add a CSS property of opacity 0.5 and this should happen within a span of 1500 seconds now when I do control s let me go back and let me refresh your when I click on the start animation you can observe the images get animated by applying the first animate method of okay first animate method of width 500 pixel and the second animate method border 10 pixel and the third is opacity of 0.5 it's working very fine but but observe this image it's having three animate methods which are changed together so right now let me jump into presentation so here you can observe when we have several calls to animate method and these animate methods they are chained together and keep in mind by default these calls are placed into a queue to be executed one after the other in series rather than executing all of them simultaneously in parallel and that's what we saw just now and keep in mind each of the animate method is executing one by one that is one after the other they're not executing simultaneously or parallelly okay that's the meaning of this sentence so now uh, you want let us check like um, all these methods like animate methods they are placed in a queue right now what I'll do is just to verify whether these animate methods are placed in a queue what I'll do is I'll check the length of the queue once I check the length of the queue I'll come to know like how many methods are placed into a queue after this first animate method is getting executed right now once this method is get executed the other two methods should be placed in a queue so how do I identify it I can identify it with the help of queue method by checking the length of the queue so what I'll do is I will call a queue method okay to this queue method I'm going to call an anonymous function what this anonymous function is going to do is it's going to check the length of the queue so I'm going to tell like find the length okay so I'll call a queue method keep in mind the default name of the queue will be FX okay there I'm going to find the length of it okay now I'm going to execute this length uh, the result in the console window in the with the help of log method
so let me add a meaningful sentence telling like calls calls queued okay now I do control s let me go back and let me refresh now let me open the console window so here is my console now you can observe when I click on the start animation okay the first animated animated method is executed and the rest of the animations methods are stopped and you can observe here we are getting output call queues queued okay to be okay let me to control s let me go back and let me refresh now when I click animation the start animation the first animated method is executed and the rest of the animations are stopped and you can observe the calls queued are three okay why we are getting three it should be two right after this animate method the rest of the animate methods to be executed are two why we are getting three because the queue is counting this function also as a uh, method to be executed that is chained okay totally we'll get three okay right now we have three other methods to be executed once this animate method is executed first so Oh, what I'll now if now you can observe very clearly. Now let me refresh. Now when I click on the animation, the first animate method of width final pixel is executed, and the rest two methods are stopped. Why? Because see, when uh, when we queue a method, keep in mind when we queue a method, uh, we also have to dequeue that explicitly. Otherwise, the animation rest of the animations will be stopped. So how do I dequeue? It's very simple. We have to make use of dequeue method. DQ. So what I'll do is I'll copy paste this at the bottom also. Okay. Once this method is executed, it will give the total number of queues to be total number of animation method to be still executed. The total number is two, including this function. It will be three. So at the bottom we are placing the queue again. So uh, after this queue method is executed, there are no animate animate methods to be executed. So we have to get the count of calls queued as one only of this function. So uh, let me do control s. Let me do. As of now, the animations will not be stopped. We because we have dequeued them explicitly. So we are telling like we are, with the help of this line, we are telling like execute the other methods also. So when I do control s, let me go back here and let me start animation. You can observe the first method is done and the calls queued are four. Okay, and calls queued are one. Okay, why we got four? Because okay, it will take this function one. 2, 3 and this 4 and at the bottom it's taking only this function so you can observe very clearly the calls queued is 1 and the total number of calls queued are 4 at the starting. So this is what the Q and DQ method does. Okay, let me jump back to presentation. I hope you understood like what is animate method, why we should chain together and what is the Q method, how do we find the length of the Q. Okay, and the name of this Q like default Q is FX. And coming to the third point for example if you want to globally disable all the animations of your web page then what you need to do is you need to just specify this sentence like dollar fx is equal to true so let me show you in this example so what I'll do here is uh, I'll take a checkbox input type is checkbox and to this let me add an ID telling like my checkbox so what I'll do is here I'll tell like okay um, identify a checkbox with the ID my checkbox dot is okay we have learned the checked selector it's going to return true or false whether the checkbox is checked or not okay is checked okay if it is checked it's going to return true or if it is not checked it is going to return false so that we are going to assign it to a dot off okay right now this is going to return true or false if it is true all the animations method will be uh, disabled and if it is false all the animations method will be executed so right now if I check the checkbox it will be true so the animations will be disabled so when I do control s
let me go back here and let me refresh okay uh, let me name the animation this checkbox as disable animation let me go back and let me refresh okay right now I've not checked the checkbox so when I click start animation the animations are working very fine okay all the three animations are working superb now when I check this checkbox when I click start animation you can observe the animation did not happen why because okay why because we have set okay if the checkbox is checked okay then okay turn off all the animations with the, the help of this code okay if the checkbox is checked it's going to return true if I set the value true to this it's going to disable all the animations so let me show you the demo again right now it's not checked the animations will happen very cool okay now let me refresh again now I'll check it and observe the animations are not happened okay this is how you can globally disable all the animations by setting the dollar FX equals true Af apart from that you can also do like this instead of defining this you can set the jQuery also you can instead of the symbol you can call the jQuery keyword let me this also works fine okay I hope you understood how to disable all the animations okay uh, Q that's what we learned like at the previous uh, we learned like what is Q it returns the total number of method calls waiting in the queue okay now we saw here like all the many anim animations okay they are executing uh, one after the other suppose if you want to execute all of them parallelly what we need to do is we need to set the queue option to false so if, if I need to set the queue option to false I need to make use of this variation of animate method okay this variation of an this variation of animate method we have learned like how to pass properties duration easing and completed and if you need to set uh, the queue to be false like if I need to execute all the methods parallelly then I need to make you this variation of the animate method in the sense here we have to pass properties then we have to pass the options suppose if you want to know all the additional options that you can pass to animate method then you have to edit this URL let me show you okay uh, API okay it comes here animate I hope that is the URL we have to visit yes you can observe here we have this is the variation we have used like animate method taking four properties uh, four parameters that is properties duration easing and complete similarly we have other variation of it that animate which take two prop two parameters properties and options similarly you have so many of them okay you can check out okay and it can take this much of parameters to it progress complete start Op these are the options we can pass it to this uh, parameter so as of now if I need to make all animations to execute parallelly then I have to make use of this variation of animate method so let me go back to Visual Studio and let me start coding there so what I'll do right now is I'll just remove this queue and this also just to keep it simple Control S. Let me remove this checkbox also. It's not required as of now. Okay. Now what I'll do is let me refresh the page. Start animation. The animations are working fine. Okay. Now I need to make use of this variation of animate method to set the queue to false so if I need if I make if I need to make all this animate methods to execute simultaneously parallelly then I need to set the queue as to false so I need to make use of other variation okay other variation of uh, animate method so what I need to do is telling like this here I need to tell like the duration duration is 1500 then I need to set the queue false similarly I need to I'll just copy and paste to the rest of them also okay I'm making use of the other variation of uh, okay let me set this to 200 2000 milliseconds and this to 1000 milliseconds okay now let me go back and let me refresh 
now when I click OK you can observe all the animation methods are executing parallelly so you can observe very clearly see here the width the opacity are executing parallelly they are not executing independently you can observe here the water width opacity they are executing parallelly so this is what this is what the difference between uh, making use of these two methods that is uh, yeah this method and this method okay if, if I need to make all my methods executed to be parallelly then I need to set the queue option to false that's what I've done here I've set the queue option to false if I need to pass a queue option to false then I have to make use of the other variation of animate method that is this properties and options okay and that's what we learned in this session like what is animation queue and how to find the length of the queue and how to disable all the animations and how to how to execute all the animation methods parallelly by setting the queue uh, value to false okay and also we learned the two variations of animate method which takes the first method which takes four parameters and the second animate method which take the two parameters that is properties and options and if you want to still know like or the additional options you can pass to animate method then you can hit this URL and you'll come to know the other things of animation and I hope you understood like what is animation queue and other things very clearly in this session and finally thank you for listening have a great day please subscribe to our YouTube channel Langpro Training you can also like our Facebook page visiting this URL you can also follow us on Twitter for further reference of our website we are on LinkedIn too Last but not the least, please don't forget to give the feedback. Thank you. Have a great day.